This is a video recording on how to flash update or upgrade firmware on the PX4 FMU and IO boards using Q Ground Control. I'm assuming you've already assembled the board and you've powered it up uh, per the uh, video instructions on the IO FM, the IO uh, board page. So um, if you haven't found that one, go ahead and take a look at that first. It's on the PX4 IO homepage. So um, now that we've got the board powered up and we have Q Ground Control started, the thing to do is go to the config screen and then hit the scan button. That's going to go out and find the board. And so as you can see, it's rebooted the board and now it's waiting for us to click upgrade. So there are different versions available but we're going to use the stable version which is recommended when you're starting. And we're going to hit upgrade. That's going to give us this warning. That's just a, um, a license warning, that's all. Hit OK. So now it's going to download the latest firmware so you don't have to worry about whether you got the latest version or not. That's done automatically. And you can see it actually downloads it to your desktop and then from there reads it in and flashes the firmware. Now, uh, you see this line here says found bootloader version th revision 3. If you have revision 2, uh, this process is going to go much slower, but it should work. It's, don't don't uh, worry, but the, the verify stage is going to take a while, probably 10-15 minutes. So be prepared for that. But if you have uh, bootloader version 3, uh, it should look and go much like uh, mine is going here, which is pretty fast. Um, upgrading the bootloader is probably not recommended for beginners. Um, however, if, if, you, uh, if you know what you're doing and you have the, um, the, the source and everything, and you have a micro SD card, and you know what you're doing, you can do that. Uh, there are instructions for that. Okay, so in this point... System 1 is now in manual mode and standing by. Okay, so as you can see, it rebooted, it, uh, up, it flash updated and rebooted the board, and we got our little audio message saying that, um, that it is... Uh, notice it also connected automatically. So up here you see, instead of connect, you see disconnect, which means it's connected to the board. So our flash update was successful and now we can proceed to the next step.